If I didn't have anything else to do, I would be a Leela James groupie. And you would follow I her. I would follow Leela James all around. They also call that stalking. <laughs> Technically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But I like groupie. Okay. <laughs> it's a kinder, gentler. Because there's some people who have been stalkers that give stalking groupies a bad name. <laughs> stalkers, groupies. Good morning, Leela James. Good morning, Tom. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Leela James. I love to see you perform. I love your music. You know I'm gone. You know, I tell you this all the time, every time I see you. Well, you know, the feeling is mutual, and I thank you for having me this morning. It's it's all love all the time, so I'm happy to be here. She's in braids. Yes, she is. Her hair is in braids. But it's still big. Well, it's a big big braid bun. Yeah, big old bun. I was wondering how you deal with all that hair in Houston in the summer. Well, I braided it. Sweat city. Yeah, definitely. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And I really love when he has hair talk. (laughs) I really, it's always just a hair talk. (laughs) 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 Now, did the R and B divas make you want to pull your hair out? Absolutely not. Really? No, I don't want nobody. Princess Michelle says she 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 thought that this was a bad it was a bad move for her. You well, saw that? yeah, but I that was she was in her feelings at that moment. You know what I mean? She uh-huh. all good. Like I talked to her, she's straight. She was just having a moment. You know what I mean? She just listen. This too shall pass. She good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. so I have to confess. Yes. Even though I am a groupie. Yes. I just can't get into the into the into the reality show. I feel you. Because, well, okay. Are you a are you a good person or a bad? She's the person? coolest of the. She's the of coolest. The divas. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You're the coolest of the divas. I'm the person that you know. Yeah. That you say you love. She keeps it real. That's that's who I am all day. So um, that's probably something new to TV. <laughs> reality. <laughs> she says with air quotes. Reality. Yeah. 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 So actually, you know, if you tune in, you would just be like, yeah, that's my girl, and then you would actually love it. And then fast forward to the next time you're on? Yeah. <laughs> and go fast forward through all the drama? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can do that. If we don't have too much. It's, 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 it's not a whole lot, but yeah. I'm I'm the same there as, as, yeah. as I am here. You're the same sweet person? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> How'd you get your big break? <sighs> Let's see. Um... Mm. Um, we don't have that much time, but I, I just say this. I started singing when I was about six, mm-hmm. and I grew up in L.A., mm-hmm. um, and I put a band together back in junior high and high school, and I would perform in clubs wherever I could, and I was sneaking in clubs when I was a kid. <laughs> my daddy sang, so I did stuff like that, and by the time I got to college, I took all my student loan money, and I, <laughs> I put my, <laughs> instead of buying books and stuff, I bought some property, and I paid for my own demo tape and I shuffled it around and word of mouth got out and somebody heard me and seen me perform and I got my deal. Have you paid for your student loan? I done paid Sally Mae and her help with that. Yes. <laughs> Shoot, I got sick of her calling me. Don't call me no more, Sally. <laughs> Sally, get on my nerves. <laughs> she, she will not go away. Sounds like a song. Yep. Yes. <laughs> When you gonna Sally May go away. Sally yeah. May go away. <laughs> Gee. I'm like, damn, will you die? She been around for years. <laughs> Everybody owes Sally. <laughs> this is uh, album number six? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, actually. This is number six. Yeah, I count. I count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unbeknownst, but yeah, six. Yeah, yeah. And this one is called? This one is called Fall For You. And it's actually one of my favorites. Why? I just feel like um, it's just some of my best work today. Mm-hmm. And I feel like for the first time in my career, I was really able to spread my wings and not have shackles on me. Um, I was very instrumental in um, the production and I wrote the songs. And just being able to work with, you know, my boy, with mm-hmm. Anthony on the album, you know. Yeah. And it feels very personal. Yeah, it was very personal. We, we worked together over the years toured and we just never had the opportunity cut the politics of labels and stuff Mm -hmm. um to do a record together Mm -hmm. so it was like nobody got in our way this time so it was just it was just a great great time for me to work and not have Mm -hmm. a lot of janky people around me (laughs) leela james title cut fall for you so catch me i'm falling for you yes
with brown liquor, that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The whole out. Yeah. 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 You got that. Yeah. I know. And I, some space, too. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> When I saw you last, we, how, we, were you working on this? Yes, we were. We that was had, a couple of years ago. Well, no. I no, think well, it, well, when I saw you with Anthony Hamilton. Yes, when we were um, with Anthony Hamilton, we just started the process. We just started. That's right. Mm-hmm. You told me that. Mm-hmm. You told me that. So, yeah, it's been a long time coming. That, that was three years ago because I was at the amphitheater. And what was the date, Tom? <laughs> it was a hot <laughs> summer night. <laughs> <laughs> Do me right. All right. Ow. Yeah. I'm a good love. Show love. By your side. Woman. Boy, you better do me right. You're messing yeah. with me, girl. Yeah. <laughs> do me right. Yeah. And if I give you all. Make me sweat out my suit this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You are one of my all-time favorite, really, raw singers. Thank you. Okay, who's your favorite when it comes to just raw, hard singing? Past or present? Past or present? Um, yes. Male or female? Male, Male or female. female. I was a huge fan, still am, rest in peace, Bobby Womack. Mm-hmm. Yes! And, um... I can hear that. Yeah, Sam yes. Cooke. And Gladys Knight is one of my favorite female artists, um, mm-hmm. singers, um... Every time I see her live, like it's just she hasn't lost anything, and yeah. I just I love the the meat on her on her vocals. It's just it's you know, that I never it's, heard. And and I really find it very interesting that as much as Tom loves you, he loves Gladys. Like oh, that, so I see the the correlation, the connection. And it's funny because I feel like she's like my industry godmother. Every time mm. I, we do shows, she's like always like, "Baby, I'm proud of you." Oh. You know what I mean? And she's oh, just yeah. encouraging and. It's just, it's wonderful because you don't hear voices like hers yeah. anymore. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I grew up on that kind of stuff, and she's definitely one of my favorites. James Brown, are you related? <laughs> I wish not, because I get that shit. No. <laughs> They're all still no. waiting. Yeah, right? No, I'm You'd not related, shit, but right? uh, I know. Um, uh, we're not related, you but. Work hard. I work hard, work and hard. I toured with him um, before did? he passed. Yes, overseas. I opened up for him. Oh, and yeah. we were in Germany. Y'all probably remember that. Um, we were in Germany, and I remember he was like, "Baby girl, you got to keep so live." Like, and it was like, <laughs> "Okay." <laughs> and it, you know, I just had never seen someone perform with such, you know, uh, I don't know. He just had passion. At seventy plus years old, he was on stage killing it. We were like, <laughs> "We gotta step our game up." You know what I mean? So ever since then, I, I just made yeah. it a point to make sure I carried on. You know, his legacy in my show some kind of way. Wow. Layla James. 